I'm Hillary Mulek, a wedding photographer based in the Carolinas, and on this YouTube episode, I'm gonna be talking about how I design client albums. In a previous video, I showed you one of my client albums. It was a 10 by 10 with 15 spreads. I walked you through the different spreads and just uh, the different options that I give my clients when it comes to ordering their, their heirloom albums. And today, I wanna to show you how easy it is to design these albums. When I first started, in my photography career and I was thinking about offering client albums, I was really overwhelmed with how to actually design them. It just seemed like too much and a really big learning curve. I started my business a decade ago, so I think a lot of people during that time were designing their client albums in Photoshop and having to uh, rearrange photos and create templates and all these things, and I'm just thinking, this is way too much. So I just didn't even offer client albums for such a long time. And then, maybe about four or five years ago, I decided to think about offering client albums again, and that's when I found this really awesome program, and I'm gonna show it to you today on how I design a client album and just how easy it can be. So let's check it out. Okay, so I have pulled up Smart Albums. This is a program that I have been using for years to create albums and uh, create different layouts. It's super, super easy. And so right here I have pulled up an album that I have recently created. This is for Caitlin and Tyler. This is their 10 by 10 album. And as I've said in a previous video, when I am getting ready to start a album design, I send my clients a brochure in HoneyBook, my client management system, to get all of their preferences on what fabrics they want, what fabric they want on the outside of their album, what they want their album to say. I also give them a step-by-step -step guide on how to pick their images. And I always tell them to pick around 120 of their favorite images in their album. And then I download those favorite images. I import them in here into Smart Albums. And then I use these images to design the different layouts here. I wanted to go through and show you how I design this album and what exactly I do. So the first step is downloading and uploading all of their favorite images. So down here you can see I just imported, it's about 120 of their favorite images. And as you can see, these images that are darkened out, those are images that I ended up using in the final layout. And then some of these I didn't end up using. So even though I have them pick 120 favorites, I don't use all of those. I just like to look at all their favorites and uh, try different combinations of them paired together. So my first spread that I like to do is usually a horizontal of one of their portraits. I like to start my albums that way. And then the next spread is going to be their getting ready photos. So for this specifically, I just dragged these photos up in here and uh, arranged them how I wanted. And I'll show you kind of how I do that. Take these out of here. And then I'm gonna, see I'm just picking a few of these. Perfect. And then if I just bring them up here and drag them here, it's going to automatically generate and put them in a layout. And let's say I don't really like this layout. Maybe I want to switch some of the images around. That looks really good. Maybe I don't want all the photos to be side by side so I can click these little squares here and have different combinations, which is really fun. I could choose this combination and then Maybe put that big portrait there, put that there. I really like that. So this is just a way that you can put different images in there. Let's say I don't want this image. I wanna switch it with this image down here. I can easily make that switch. So that's kind of how I design each of the layouts. So I usually start with a full portrait and then do a getting ready of the bride with her details. Here's a getting ready of her. I have a spread right here of the getting ready with the groom. Over here is a first look with them. 
some portraits I did with them in the garden. We have two different spreads of that. You can also see that each of these images are numbered, which when I send the couple a proof, I they are able to see these numbers and give me feedback and say, okay, image number three, can we swap it with image number four? And I can easily do that. Or they can say, hey, image number three, can we actually just put a totally different image in there? And I can say, sure, let me find one. What if they wanna swap it with this image? There we go, so we could do that too. Making edits are really easy. Or if she, my bride or groom were to come back to me and say, you know, we really like these four images. Can we just see a different layout of them? We just don't like the way this is laid out. I can choose a different layout for them. We could do that. So this program, Smart Albums, just makes album design super, super easy. And it makes designing each of these spreads just really seamless and really easy. If I want, I could take away the gallery there and then just have this bigger. This is a spread that I did for them of just some pictures of cocktail hour and then all of their details for their reception. Here is a page of their cake cutting. And then this last page that they had, since they didn't do an exit or anything, were just some fun candidates of dancing, fun candidates of speeches, and then one last little picture of their thank you gifts that they ended up giving to all their guests when they left. I also wanted to show you how easy it is to create each of these different projects for your clients. So I can go to New. And I always have Miller's Lab selected because that's where I get my albums printed. But they have so many different places that print albums that you can choose from. I used to print at Red Tree, so you can select Red Tree on here. And it, this program just automatically knows what size layouts of the albums that each of these labs recommend for design. So I always have Miller's Lab selected. And then depending on whether they're doing a 10 by 10 or a 12 by 12, I'll select that. And I also make sure the Miller Signature Album Thick Pages is selected because that's the type of albums that I get printed for my clients. So I can either do a 10 by 10 or a 12 by 12. And then I go to next. I want all the template options, which is great. Say start. And then I just name the album by the client. So this could be... Ashley and Chris and then I like to note whether it's a 10 by 10 or a 12 by 12 because for my 10 by 10 clients I design 15 spreads for them and for my 12 by 12 clients I design 20 spreads for them so I could do 12 by 12 and then I'll just know when I'm designing that I'm gonna have to design 20 spreads for this so this is what it looks like when it's completely blank and then, like I said earlier, I can upload all of their favorite images in here and then just start dragging images into each page and rearranging them into layouts that I like. So going back to Caitlin and Tyler's 10 by 10 album here, when I'm ready to send them proofing for this album, I select this, I go export for cloud proofing, export, and it'll automatically create a little website page where they can virtually see their album. And this is what that looks like. So this is Caitlin and Tyler's 10 by 10 heirloom album. And they can go through and uh, this is just basically a virtual of their album. And they can go through and look at it on the client view of it, there's a little comment box at the bottom. This album's already been approved for print, but if it were still in the editing phase, there'd be a little comment box below here to where they can see each of the spreads and make notes on the different spreads and tell me which pictures they want switched out or if they want the layout a little bit different. They can give me all the notes. I'm just gonna go through and show you their whole album here. There we go, that was the last spread. And then 
once we are, once it's been approved for print, I can come up here and click this. And instead of clicking export for cloud proofing, I can just click export for print. And I can save each of these spreads on my computer. They're saved into JPEGs. And then when I go into the Miller's Lab website to print it, I can just upload all of their spreads and order it and select their preferences for fabric on the outside, preference for what they want written on their album, and it is literally shipped to them within a week. It's so, so great. So that is how I export my albums and end up ordering them. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that tutorial was helpful so that you, if you're not already offering client albums to your clients, or if you are, but you're just looking for an easier way to design client albums, hopefully that tutorial was helpful to you. Any links that I mentioned in the video will be provided down below, and I will see you again next week for another YouTube episode. Bye guys.